Hello everyone, in this lecture we will have a new application of the Simidian. This particular problem was posed in Vietnam Team Selection Test 2001. Here is a view of this problem. In the plane, two circles intersect at points A and B. You can clearly see those points on my sketch. And a common tangent intersects the circles at P and Q. So the common tangent over here it intersects the initial circles, the big circle here and the, the smaller circle here at points P and Q. Let the tangents at P and Q to the circumcircle of APQ. So the circumcircle of APQ, I have it as a red color circle here. And I did go ahead and draw the tangents at P and Q to the red circle. And I realized that the, those two tangents meet at point S. And we would like to show that the point H, which is the reflection of B across PQ. So if you reflect B across PQ, so somewhere here, we kind of have a uh, kind of feeling that it might be actually this intersection point, but it's not certain yet. So we would like to show that those three points A, H, which is the reflection of B, and S are collinear. In fact, uh, from the way this question is organized, I can see that I have triangle APQ, the circumcircle of triangle APQ, which is the red circle, and then two tangents at two of its vertices, P and Q. And all we did is we, we looked at this meeting point of these tangents through those two vertices and connected that meeting point to the other vertex. And that's actually the C-median of triangle APQ. So let's write that down. So AS is C median of triangle, one of the C medians at least, of triangle APQ. But then um, I also realize that, um, that in fact if I extended AB here and that intersection point, let's call with the tangent, common tangent, let's call it M. This is a very well-known property from power of a point. If I apply power of point M with respect to the big circle O1, I get that, huh? so let's write that down, power of a point at M. So you just realize that MP squared is equal to MB times MA. And we did this based on the first circle, O1. But then MB times A, MA, when you look at the second smaller circle, it would be just MQ squared. As a result, this implies that MP is actually equal to MQ, meaning that M is actually the midpoint, which means AM is the median of triangle APQ. Huh? So AM is median. But then... Uh, using the knowledge of the median and the C-median, I know that those two are symmetric with respect to the angle bisector. Now, let me step back. So, in the question, we are trying to find that A, S, and H are collinear. All I will do to solve this problem, I already might have my line A, S. I need to prove that H, uh, so let me write that down. So, therefore, show that H is on the C-median line AS. So that's what I really need to prove in this problem, right? So, so far we are on a good run. I already located my median. I know where my C-median is. Now the rest of the problem will be using some angle chasing to locate the exact uh, point where H is living and the reflection of B is located. Okay, so let me just open some space here. I will use, I will kind of complete the proof on the same page. So I will show that A, S and H are collinear by showing that H turns out to be on the line A, S, which is the C-median point. So for the proof uh, of this claim, huh, so notice that angle P, H, Q, huh, angle P, H, Q, is simply, so let me show you, PH, so H is somewhere here, Q, is the same as PBQ. Let me write it with a red color here. So it would be PBQ, and that's purely because of the reflection property. So that angle is equal to angle PBQ. But then, focus on triangle BPQ. So angle, uh, when, when I look at it, 
angle PBQ is simply 180 minus 180 degrees minus angle BPQ BPQ minus angle uh, BQP but then one more step so 180 minus I realize that angle BPQ BPQ because there's a tangency here the common tangency the line PQ here so I, I can observe that the um, the minor arc PB is subtended by angle BPQ here but it's also subtended by by uh, by angle PAM so this is uh, or PAB if you will PAB so those two angles are definitely equal minus in a similar way angle BQP subtends this minor arc BQ here as a result this arc is also subtended by QAB as well so angle QAB but then the sum of these two angles PAB plus QAB is simply angle PAQ so we can replace it like this but then this tells me that angle PHQ is equal to 180 minus angle PAQ suggesting that PHQ and PAQ are supplementary angles therefore huh, uh, it tells us that points A, P, H, Q are actually cyclic uh, now finally notice that so let's open a bit more space here finally observing that P, H, Q, A are concyclic points let's do a little bit more angle chasing so we have that angle H, A, Q notice that angle H, A, Q because of cyclicity is equal to H, PQ, but notice also that HPQ by symmetry is equal to BPQ, huh? that angle is equal to BPQ, but then angle BPQ is equal to simply angle B, uh, BPQ is just equal to, wait a second, BPQ is, yes, yes, because it subtends minor arc BP here, it's equal to BAP here. So therefore, what we did is, uh, we, we showed that angle HAQ is equal to angle BAP, but notice that BAP, that angle, um, coincides with the median, uh, and this opening here between those two angles. So that angle, we just proved, is equal to HAQ, but then it suggests that H must be on that line AS, because by definition of the C median, we already know SAQ is uh, is the median line, so SAQ is already equal to BAP. So if um, if BAP in turn is equal to HAQ, it must be that SAQ is equal to HAQ. Therefore, H must be on on this line AS. So the line uh, the point H. So this implies that uh, so that those two angles actually coincide and we are obviously done because now that we prove that H is on the line AS it proves that A, H and S are simply collinear points and we are done